What's up, guitar players? What's up, musicians, band people? So this, uh, I got an idea from um, uh, my drummer. Uh, we're going to do a team-up video as well, but uh, individually we're going to do these kind of video blogs, kind of... kind of like road stories, places you've been, things that happen on stage, just stupid things to talk about really. We're going to try to do them as close to the show, the previous gig as possible. Uh, so last night, I guess I'll just jump into it, last night we played uh, our f first show of the year at a place called the Beer Mug in Erie, Pennsylvania. I uh, had a really good time, actually. It was definitely a dress-down show, as the band uh, that I was playing with, Disgraced, runs uh, a huge, pretty big light show for an amateur band, uh, does a lot of costumes, paints, and stuff like that. Um, first off, I want to apologize for the camera. Uh, I promise I will be getting a new one soon figuring out something about this this I'm just recording this straight from a webcam um, but anyway getting on to we played at the beer mug um, played completely out of our limit or not out of our limit out of our comfort zone really as we played with uh, two pretty good punk bands to tell you the truth um, one of them really caught my eye uh, the name of the band is oh no it's mustard gas that's right, folks. <laughs> That's a pretty weird name, but they were really good. They were really on point. Uh, definitely a mix of modern uh, and the old school stuff at the same time. Uh, really, really brought it home for me because that's kind of what I grew up listening to um, outside of, you know, the old hair metal stuff. But, uh, yeah, so. Basically, what we want to aim to do is just talk about weird things that happen. Uh, not a whole lot happened for me. Um, as though we did knock off the rust, we haven't played a gig in four or five months. Um, mainly because of the snow and stuff like that. And, and we just didn't find any southern shows to play. So we kind of decided to you hunker down in the basement and try to write some new stuff or you know what have you and uh, you know so that's kind of what happens when you live in the northern states so we also want to aim to I, I want to aim to maybe helping other guys out or um, giving reviews on equipment uh, stuff like that so this year, just as an update, uh, this will be the first thing. This year, I'm going to be using a Dean Vendetta guitar on the Disgraced uh, shows, on the Disgraced gigs. Um, it's an old Dean Vendetta. Uh, I want to say it's first series, if there is any other series of it. It does look a lot older than some of the other Vendettas I find. So, I want to say it's a first series. I bought it used. Um... And uh, uh, to tell you the truth, I if I don't know if you can tell here with the crappy camera, but uh, I, I got some cuts on my hand from the bridge. I believe whoever owned it before me swapped the bridge out or something or sanded the body way too far down uh, because the uh, little action nuts there were cutting my hands up last night. And it's the first time I've brought that guitar out since I've owned it. Uh to really play it it's it's been practiced on a few times here and there um, but I finally decided to take it to its first show and it played its first first gig played very well you know I can't uh, can't be uh, can't be mad at it uh, probably could use a new bridge though um, I'm using an Ibanez tone screamer uh, head with a PV Windsor 412 cabinet right now. Um, they've held up the the Ibanez heads got so many miles on it. It's it's unreal. It's played for so many. I've had it for at least 
six, seven years, eight years maybe. Uh, and it's still holding up. Uh, it's got one cabinet jack left in it, so, and that's from my stupidity. Uh, I don't aim for this to be boring, but uh, of course, you know, we're gonna, it's gonna be talked about a lot more, there's gonna be a lot more to talk about, um, I guess, but we just wanted to start, uh, doing this, and this is kind of how I'm, you know, I'm not too good at this kind of stuff, but at the same time, I really had, I really thought this was going to be a cool idea, and I think it's, I think it could, we could run with it, even if no one watches it, you know, it'll be something that I'll continue to do, um, because I do a lot of, uh, things now, I'm starting to do a, a few different video blogs for a few different things, um, but individually, it'll be, I'll be talking about my endeavors, my uh, things that I do throughout the weekend, if, uh, and it'll only happen when we play shows, basically, um, so anytime we play a gig with either my Disgrace Band or my newest project, uh, Slaughter in the Meridian, or uh, any other projects that may, came along, may come along, um, I will talk about it, it the closest I can to the gig. Um, so, yeah. Uh, the only, I guess you could say, yeah, the the weird thing that did happen was just knocking the rust off uh, and playing out of our comfort zone, playing with no masks on, no lights. Uh, we've played with no lights before, but uh, we've never played. We've never played with no makeup, no masks. Uh, that's definitely something we haven't done before. And it's to tell you the truth, it's been six years maybe since I've actually played a gig without having to put on some kind of gear or motif or what have you. Uh, I've been with Disgrace for a little over a year, almost two years. Um, and... Uh, Actually, I want to say well, over two years. Yeah, I want to say over two years. So, and in between that, I was kind of off with... I played in a few projects, but they never made it on stage, you know. Uh, so, yeah, it's been a long time, uh, long story short, since I played a gig without anything blocking my face. And uh, so... I found myself being conscious of what my face was looking like while I was playing because normally I'm just like making a monkey face behind my mask because I don't wear makeup I have a full latex mask and I just do this kind of stuff you know behind you know while I'm playing you know I uh, apparently that's what I do because I found myself doing that about three songs into the set and I'm like oh man I gotta stop this and uh, I had to kind of figure out what was going on so that was kind of the, the only really weird thing that I had going on outside of cutting my hand up um, but I'll keep you updated on the equipment uh, I want to keep you guys updated on stuff I buy so I it's kind of like a live equipment review at the same time kind of sharing road stories uh, at the same time just kind of you know but anyway uh, subscribe to me on YouTube um, click the like button uh, if you're a disgrace fan if you're from the Cleveland Erie uh, area you may have heard of us um, so yeah look us up uh, disgraced on Facebook look my disgraced um, persona up uh, as John Doe uh, on Facebook it's uh, J-O-N dot D-O-E dot 319 is the Facebook handle um, I'm gonna start a Twitter account here soon I know I gotta get on that uh, yeah, that seems to be where everyone's at now Facebook is completely dead zone uh, so yeah, just subscribe, um, and, uh, keep an ear out, and every time we have a gig, I will come report to you guys, and, you know, see what happens. Thanks for watching.